You're watching Terrier Vision. Inside Wofford Football with Coach Mike Ayers and the voice of the Terriers, Mark Hauser. It comes down to this. Each and every one of you guys, you know your job. We've been in it too long for you not to know your job. The difference between championships and something else basically comes down to the desire and that mindset that you have. We have got to fight this fight, men. It's not going to be easy. They're going to make some plays. We've got to make some plays. But at the end, we've got to make more than they do. You cannot hit that field and not be everything you're supposed to be, whether it's mentally or physically. Technique sound, chasing the football, going downfield and getting the block, executing the offense, executing the defense, executing the kicking game. We've worked hard for it. Like I said, there's three. This is the first of three. And we can't reach what we want to reach until we take care of this one. This one. This day, this team, that's the only thing that matters. Everybody understand? Yes, sir. Let's go out there and let's get it done. Let's go. Let's do it. Welcome into Gibbs Stadium on a homecoming Saturday afternoon as the Wofford Terriers ranked eighth in the country, six and one overall, four and one in the Southern Conference, take on the Citadel Bulldogs, who are three and two in the league and have already notched wins over both Appalachian and Georgia Southern this year. The Terriers today not only look to go to five and one in league play, but they also look to beat the Bulldogs for a 14th consecutive head-to-head -head meeting with the win streak dating back to 1999. Here are your highlights. First and 10 at the Terrier 23. Wide left Thompson, one receiver goes to the right. Up under center, Ben Dupree. Man in motion near side, Dupree wants to throw. Flushed out of the pocket, throws deep toward the middle of the end zone. Man open, caught. That is a Bulldog touchdown. The reception made by Dominic Jones. Redshirt junior quarterback Brian Cass up under center. Breitenstein is fullback, 187 yards away from five. 5,000 for his career. Man in motion near side, Brad Nosek. Counter gift to the left, Brian Yeoman in the open as he cuts to his right. 40, 50, Yeoman, 40, 30. Run down from behind at the Bulldog 24 yard line. A quick hitter to Brian Yeoman, and the Terriers are in business. Third and three Terriers at the Bulldog 18. Out of the gun cast, forward handoff, all sorts of room. Nosek to his right, back to his left, to the 15, to the 10, to the 8. First and goal. It's 9 10 to play. Terriers first and goal from the 8. Handoff, right and right up the gut, splits defenders to the five, to the three, falls forward, touchdown! Terriers right back to tie up the ball game, a quick drive. Great answer by Wofford and really helped out by that long Brian Yeoman run to start the drive. Brian Cass will operate out of the gun with two receivers left. One, Will Irwin comes to the right. Two backs flank behind him as the Terriers go out of the double deuce. Citadel with five on the line of scrimmage. Handoff Breitenstein to his right. Now back to his left to the 40. 45 pushes the pile ahead all the way out to the 47. And again, two backs behind Cass out of the gun. Singleton, shotgun snap, play action for Cass. Time to throw, puts it up to the near side. Ashley with a nice catch over the outside shoulder at the Citadel 45-yard line. Two receivers left, one to the right, out of the gun. Cass with two backs, fakes the handoff to Breitenstein. Carries left on the option, fakes the pitch at the 30, threads his way to the 25, to the 23. And second down and five at the Citadel 13. We're down to two minutes to play in the first quarter. Wingbone this time. Breitenstein is your fullback. One receiver, Francis to the left. In motion left goes Harden. Counter give to the right. There's all sorts of room. Taken up the middle. That is a touchdown run for Will Gay as he makes the 10, the 5, he scores. Will Gay, the freshman out of Anderson and T.L. Hanna High School, giving the Terriers the lead. That's the first touchdown of his career. Another big hole there, and Will just saw it and exploded through it. First and 10 Bulldogs from their 25 going right to left. They'll start on the left hash mark. Dupree under center. Their version of the wing bone toss in the backfield. The ball is out. Loose on the ground at the 22 and the Bulldogs get it back. Snap on the way is a good one. Kick, line drive, has the distance and he missed it left. No good. 
out of the gun, the quarterback, two receivers left, one to the right, two backs behind Brian Cass, fakes the dive to Breitenstein, pitch far corner, Brian Yeoman, first down run across the 45, an extra second effort will get him to the 48-yard line. Two receivers come to the left, Simmons in the slot, two backs, handoff right up the gut, Breitenstein spins away from tacklers at the 45 to the 40, surges inside the 35 to the 33. Second down and 10, ball at the 33 in the Citadel end of the field. Brian Cass out of the gun, two backs behind him, fakes the dive to Breitenstein, plants, cuts up field at the 30, takes it to the 20. Brian Cass, first down run to the Bulldog, 15-yard line. Sadat Jean-Pierre, the corner with the tackle. 18 yards for Brian Cass. Wingbone this time with a tight end lined up to the left. It's Michael Harp, man in motion near side. Breitenstein, handoff, behind left side of the line, makes the goal line. Touchdown Terriers! Eric Breitenstein. Bread and butter for the Terriers. He makes it look easy. By the way, Wofford has scored 21 and answered now. Citadel led it 7-0. That's a ground ball kick by Redfern, fielded by an up man straight ahead at the 20. 25, a seam to the 30. He submarined at the 35. The ball is out. Terriers say they have it. The snapper is Michael Comer. The spotter is in clan. Spot down. Kick on the way. It's a line drive. It was tipped, and it's still good. Somebody got a hand on it, and Casey Redfern drills it to end the first half. Two slots of fullback, one receiver to the right. Tight end lines up to the left of the Citadel. It's Glover, and it's a handoff. Robinson, big hole up the middle, 40, 30, slants left, 20, 10, 5, tripped up, but he dives in for the score. Touchdown, Citadel. This drive started at their nine-yard line. Second and goal from the five, one receiver to the left. And it's a turn, handoff, sweeping left. Robinson breaks two tackles, keeps his feet, and he's in for the touchdown. Two receivers left, one to the right. Ben Dupree out of the gun with two running backs behind him. High snap, Dupree fakes the dive, going to try to juke right, and he is hit for a one-yard loss. Terriers looking for a stop, leading by three points. Under four minutes to go, out of the gun, Dupree. Two to the right, two to the left. Terriers bring five, Dupree being chased by Niam on the run, tosses far side for Thompson, leaping try, incomplete pass, Stephon Shelton and pass coverage, it is fourth down. Four receivers for Miller, two either side, a single back flank to his right. Aaron Miller takes the shotgun snap, Terriers bring five, Miller will throw too high, incomplete at the near side, Dominic Jones was the target, over his head, he was pressured by Alvin Ciano, incomplete ball, and the Terriers may just survive, all they've got to do is take a few knees here. Your final score here on Homecoming Saturday from Gibbs Stadium in Spartanburg, the Wofford College Terriers, 24, and the Citadel Bulldogs, 21. Coach, you have a 24-7 lead at the half, and, and things seem to be going well. Second half, your offense just implodes at times, and, yeah. and your defense won the game for you. Uh, that's exactly right, and uh, when you uh, look at it from an offensive standpoint in the first half, uh, we, we just execute stayed away from penalties, moved the ball down the field, scored, and uh, defensively we struggled a little bit. Come out in the second half, uh, moving the ball down the field, uh, all of a sudden we have a penalty, next thing you know you get off schedule, next thing you know you get stopped. And then they move the football, uh, come back, and all of a sudden uh, it's a dog fight, and I mean a dog fight. And, their, uh, their team, we, we knew, uh, would be difficult. We knew the challenge would be difficult. Um, we really didn't know what to expect defensively uh, because they've got a new defensive coordinator. They had two weeks to prepare, and, uh, and we were kind of, you know, going on uh, what we saw on the field versus on the film. Uh, defensively, about midway through uh, that third quarter, uh, all of a sudden those guys decided no more. And uh, did a great job of, of shutting them down in the fourth quarter. They, they played big. And uh, Citadel has a lot of weapons. They, they are schematically sound. They understand what they want to do. And um, my hat's off to our guys. That, that they all fought hard. 
in some cases, we, we didn't fight as smart as we needed to, but uh, it's a win. Uh, we're, we're still moving towards our goal, and uh, it, it's another tough challenge coming up. Samford, oh gosh, big physical, strong football team, uh, really good offensively, and uh, it, it's going to be a difficult challenge, no doubt. Uh, lost some more players today. Um, it, it's frustrating. It's really frustrating, but uh, it's an opportunity for somebody to, to step up. Mike Nyam came back today, and it looked like he was all over the place. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Uh, Mike uh, kind of went uh, sideline to sideline, and we needed him to. And uh, right there at the end, I thought Coach Woody made a great call as far as bringing pressure on the quarterback. Uh, the big thing that, that we wanted to, to hopefully do was put enough pressure on him where he couldn't get an accurate throw. And then we, we were scared to death of those guys just pulling it down and running. Uh, we saw him against Appalachian uh, take 180 yards. And uh, if they can do it against App, they can do it against anybody. Samford, you mentioned next week, a transfer yeah. quarterback from Memphis who's yep. got some skill, and they've got Fabian Truss, who's pretty darn good running back. <laughs> Quarterback's really good. Quarterback's been a, a big help to him. And uh, Fabian is an outstanding player, uh, does a great job on all the zone stuff. Uh, he's a guy that once he squares his shoulders to the line of scrimmage, uh, he, he's a load. And uh, we're, we're going to have to play – Great defense, great offense, and, and do a great job in the kicking game. If, if we're off on any one of the, the three phases, it's, it's probably going to be a difficult day. All right, Eric, first half, things go great. Second half, things bog down. You win the game, but what was going on in the second half? Um, Citadel just uh, came to play. They didn't give up. I mean, you know, last year we jumped out on Citadel like that, and uh, then in the second half we were just able to roll through them. And, uh, you know, they've come with a lot more fight this year, and they're a good football team. I mean, there's no doubt uh, they're a good football team if you're beating Georgia Southern and App State. Um, we survived a close one today. What has to improve going to Samford next week? We can't make penalties. I mean, we kill ourselves with penalties and jumping off sides and holding and just some crazy stuff that, you know, really kill drives. Uh, but, you know, that being said, I thought we moved the ball really well in the first half. Our offensive line fought their hearts out and dug out some yards we needed. Um, I'm really proud of our defense today. Stepped up and made some huge plays. What was it like playing a team that is so similar to what your team does offensively all day? Uh, you know, all camp and everything, we face the option, and obviously Georgia Southern plays the option too, so we have a pretty good feel for it, but uh, Citadel came in with a great plan, game plan, and uh, they had a couple wrinkles for us that we hadn't seen and gave us a, a tough time in the first half, second half too. What was it like that last series, Citadel gets, Citadel gets the ball down three, uh, you've got about two minutes left, what was the mindset there? Uh, we just, somebody had to step up and make a play. I mean, everybody was pretty hyped up and excited because, you know, our uh, our goal for a SoCon championship, we have to win these next three games, and uh, you got to win the first one. So we were just really amped up and really ready to go and just hyped up. So with the Terriers hanging on for a 24-21 victory over the Citadel today, Wofford ups their overall record to 7-1. and one. They go to 5-1 and one in the Southern Conference and should remain in the top 10 in the National polls. Next up, a trip to Birmingham on Saturday when the Terriers will take on the Samford Bulldogs. That'll be a 3 o'clock kickoff Eastern. We'll have the broadcast at 2.30 on the Wofford IMG Sports Network. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.